anaphylactic shock and an acute allergic reaction. If someone is having an acute allergic reaction or is suffering from anaphylactic shock, they may look like that. Not all cases of anaphylactic shock do look quite as severe and quite as obvious. It's possible for the person to just collapse, for them to have a really severe breathing problem that if they're asthmatic, an asthma pump wouldn't be helping. It's possible for them to have a rash without breathing problems, or as I've said before, have breathing problems without a rash. The rash is a sort of hive-like rash and boy can it itch. So if they've been prescribed an adrenaline auto-injector, then that is what they need to use. The most common types are an EpiPen, Jex, or Emirate. This is a real EpiPen, and this is how it would appear. So this is what it looks like. You hold it in the dominant hand, you take off the cap, and you would put it in the upper outer part of the thigh. You should also be aware in checking the date on it, and you should check that the solution that you can see through the viewing window is clear and not cloudy. But if you have your EpiPen, you should be aware of those anyway, and you should have an alert set up on your phone so that it tells you when your EpiPen is about to expire. So the manufacturer offers those as a registration. Okay, so this casualty is having an acute allergic reaction. So what she's going to be doing is holding it in her um, dominant hand. She's going to shake the EpiPen. She's going to, with the other hand, remove the cap. And she's going to put it in the upper outer part of the thigh and hold it for 10 seconds. For an EpiPen, it takes 10 seconds for the medication to actually go into where it needs to go. So you hold it for 10 seconds, then you remove the EpiPen, you give the area a rub, and then you would think about positioning the casualty, the most appropriate position for whatever symptoms they're suffering from. So if you were very breathless and you were really struggling to breathe, then I wouldn't want to lie you down and raise your legs because that's going to make it harder for you to breathe. I would probably pop you on the floor like this. So I'd pop you down on the floor and I would bend your knees into the lazy W position and pop something under there that will help your circulation slightly. I would keep reassuring you and keep you as calm as possible because it's extremely frightening having a really serious allergic reaction and the more scared and stressed you get, the harder it will be for you to breathe. If you're not having breathing problems, but you're flushed all over, you're feeling really lightheaded and dizzy, then the best position for you to be in is lying down, and I would raise your legs. So I'd raise your legs and put them onto some sort of a box or whatever I've got available, and that will increase the circulation to your heart and brain. If You've got someone that is feeling really lightheaded and you're worried about their, that their blood pressure has plummeted, then you would not be getting them up again until the paramedics have arrived. So even if they start to feel a little bit better and you have given an EpiPen, I would be lying them down and keeping them in this position until I'm sure that I've got proper medical support.